You're listening to the Battle Ready Podcast. My name is Aaron McManus. And I'm here with these hoodlums from MSC. Woo! Mosaic, you guys, hey. come on. Welcome to the podcast. You guys released a record c- today. Congratulations. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. What is it called? This is how, how I thank the Lord. This is how I thank the Lord. Can you guys just sing like uh, two seconds of This is how I thank the Lord? This, this is, is how I thank the Lord. The Lord. <laughs> <laughs> These are musicians, guys. We actually Get the make record. that joke all the time. Wait. Bending the note. This uh, is how I thank the Lord. The Lord. Yep. <laughs> Mosaic MSC or just MSC? Which one is it? Whatever you want it to be today. <laughs> Some people call it Mosaic MSC. Some people say MSC. Some people say Mosaic Music. I feel, I feel like too. maybe this is actually a good time to set the record straight. What is it? We Tell us like your name. We would like to drop. It's, it means Mosaic. So really what you're saying is Mosaic. 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 But, but MSC is also Mosaic, mosaic music. music. So just MSC. MSC. Like yeah. Madonna. You got rid of. What? The na- the other name, whatever, my- the other na- whatever, whatever. It's like Justin Bieber. It's like people just call him Justin. No, they don't. Yeah, they, they call do. him Bieber. They call him Bieber. Yes, I people believe they do. People don't call him Justin. Oh, like, did you listen to Justin? They <laughs> do. I was hanging out with Justin. You were. <laughs> Me and Justin were hanging out. Were you hanging out with Justin? No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm here with. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna save the best for last, or is it save my namesake twin? I'll start with Aaron Wheats. Yes. Tell us what you do. I play guitar in the band. Yes. I also help produce and help jokes. here at most. Yeah, a lot of jokes. A lot of jokes. You're the meme sender of the group chat. That's oh, Colin. That's, Colin, that's yeah. Colin. I think that's me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Aaron Weeds. We've known each other since I was in high school, I want to say, or college. Yeah, probably like 11, 11 years or something like that. A long like time. You married your wife, Haven. Yes. And Haven met Mariah when you were 16? Yeah, probably. So you've known each other for a long time? Kids. Kids, literally kids. Um, we have kids, <laughs> and now you have ki- you have two kids. Yes, that's amazing. What are their names? Echo and Isley. Echo and Isley. Oof. And then we've got my dear friend Carlos Pimentel. Pimentel. Sometimes. Give us all the names. Give us all the names. The full name. Um, Carlos Javier Pimentel Figueroa Millan Aponte Betancur Vargas. What? <laughs> Even it's I like, forgot some of those. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, real. In the U.S., people go to Madonna, and then in Latin America, they get 19 keep adding, names. Yeah. Keep adding names. Yes, the mo- yeah, you keep meeting new family members, and you're like, oh, what's your last name? Come on. Just add it, it on. Yeah, add put it, it on. in. Add it to the put list. It in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Carlos Pimentel, what do you do? I do music, but I'm also part of like the pastoral team here at Mosaic. Okay. And, and you run Mosaic TikTok. I, Mosaic I'm MSCs. doing that now. I'm help, helping with TikTok. <laughs> Which it's it's a, it's a world. It's, it's different. A different yes, it's different. <laughs> Was TikTok made for thirty-seven year olds? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> you're thirty-seven. <laughs> you're thirty-seven. You're thirty-seven. I am thirty-seven. But you're young at heart. I am. My heart's still young and warm. And you oh. have you have three boys now. I have three boys. Talk Brooklyn, who's seven. Leon, um, just who's turned four. four. And yeah. then Rio, a little baby, he's four months. Wow. Talk to us, Colin. I'm Colin, and I have no children. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have the privilege of uh, doing a lot of our uh, synthesizer work, you could say. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's great. Oh. What a job title. <laughs> what a, I'm a synthesizer. Uh, and I get to do a lot of our editing, which is not always quite as fun and glamorous. but As it's, synthesizers. Yes. <laughs> The two very different things. So really, you kind of are editing like the vo- the vocals of these two a lot of times. I I spend many hours doing that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> many so hours. Which out of the two, which one do you prefer don't, to hear? Don't make him answer that. It's obvious. <laughs> we know me. the answer. <laughs> what <laughs> which, that you? Pre- no, I think I think Who honestly, takes the most work. I mean, Carlos. That's what I. That's know. correct. I, I, Carlos. I, I know. Carlos, Carlos, the answer voice. the question for him. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask the question. Yes. Who's who? Do you spend the longest time editing vocally? Carlos. But that's also because of words. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I need help when I'm singing and when I'm talking <laughs> with the accent. Yeah. So he helps me a lot to try to figure out how to sing it better. Okay. But he does. And he he does time. a great job. Yeah. He does a really great job. Okay. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> were, were you or were you not in a commercial at one point? And what was this commercial? Uh, I was not in a commercial. I've been in a few TV shows. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yes, talk to me. What, which TV show? <laughs> what TV shows are you on? Um, well, I uh, many many years ago, yes. like probably four, 
Uh, I was in, this is the very last thing I did, I was in an episode of The Walking Dead. Wow. Yeah. And I had blue <laughs> hair in it. Did you? Did I you die? They did not. They spent three hours um, each day on set painting <gasps> my hair with blue, a blue, uh, or uh, painting blue stuff on my hair with a toothbrush. No way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Why? Because my agent apparently would not let them dye my hair blue. <laughs> Even though I was totally okay with it. I was totally fine with it. But they said they, no. They said no. You had to protect your hair. Yeah. It's probably a good thing. I kind of like the blue hair. Should we dye your hair blue? I'm down. Carlos has the stuff. Yeah, yeah. he knows how to do it. <laughs> Carlos dyes his hair every really time. I'm down. <laughs> and then we've got my amazing, my lovely, Keep my going. arch nemesis and my greatest <laughs> ally, <laughs> Mariah McManus well, what's Goss. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? T tell, us, tell us where you're from and tell us what you do. I'm <laughs> from L.A. What are okay. you California? What up? What up? <laughs> the dog. <laughs> um, and I write songs with Mosaic. Okay. With MSC. I feel like we just, let's commit you, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah MSC. Yeah. MSC. MSC. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I get to hang out with all these people. And the two in the booth, too, which we can't forget. Oh, oh we're, yeah. not, we're, we're not done always. yet. We're not done yet. So in the booth, we're going to toss to the booth. We've got, uh, we've got a local here, Brooke. Odom Figueroa. The booth is, is my home. Hello, the hello. The booth is your home. And then you brought your husband to work today. <laughs> I did. Welcome to the booth, baby. This is amazing. I love the environment you've created here. It's just so beautiful. It's definitely it's not a... intimidating with my dad staring <laughs> over right right at your shoulders. Dad, get out of there. Yeah, yeah. Right, you're being so wall. intense. I'll wait a minute. I'll wait a minute. I'll wait a minute. Just for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. MSC. Yeah. If we were worried about what you two are doing, then we'd definitely know that you're not doing so anything with him here, watching here my questions for you, uh, Andres, because I feel like people know Brooke a little bit more, so we'll, we'll end with Brooke. But Andres, uh, could you break down my the validity of my dad's theology? Oh my in, uh, summarize it in three points if you can. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I affirm it. <laughs> I affirm it. We're very close right now. <laughs> um, my dad is standing right over his shoulder. Okay, so Andres, where are you from? Um, Puerto Rico by way of New York. Um, I, I l was born in New York, but lived most of my life in Puerto Rico. I'm Carlos's cousin, which maybe okay. some people aren't aware of, but, um, I also have 20 names. So it just, <laughs> it just comes with the package. Uh, give us the full name. Andres Ruben Figueroa Pimentel Aponte Millán. And then there's the other two that even I forgot. Carlos mentioned was it Vargas Betancourt. <laughs> Betancourt Vargas. Betancourt Vargas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, how do you, how do you decide which one to pick? I mean, I just go, let's just go with the first one. I'm like, Andres Figueroa, you know, we go. seems to work, work well enough here in the States. So, And then you, how long have you been married to Brooke? It's been four years, almost five. It's yeah. Been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> four years, almost five. Some days it feels like 10. Um, Brooke, now introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Brooke. Just one name? That's exactly the way she answers the phone, too. She goes, this is Brooke. <laughs> Hi, this is Brooke. There's Brooke, nothing else, too. You think there's more coming, and Brooke, it's where, literally just that. Brooke, where did you come from? I came <laughs> I came from Chapel Hill. Chapel Which Hill? Big. Oh, no. North Carolina, University of North Carolina. That's yeah, right. yeah. And then what do you do? What do you guys do in, with the band? I help mostly with songwriting, and I lead worship with our team here at Mosaic. Yeah, no, I do songwriting as well, and then, like, Carlos, part of the— pastoral team with with our mosaic south pass campus and um yeah but you know when with mosaic now for like 10 years and i feel like both of us have worn many hats mm -hmm. during that during those 10 years but msc is is your favorite our the favorite. prettiest hat for sure. <laughs> your favorite the most, hat. The most you fun <laughs> yeah um, the prettiest hat i am yeah. i'm also part native american what <laughs> tribe what uh, tribe? Yeah. Lumbee. The well, we're Lumbee not handing tribe. out land today, Brooke, so <laughs> <laughs> not as relevant as you might find it. Okay, so let me, let's just jump into it. You have a new record. <laughs> Who's the primary? Who should I address the questions to? Mariah. No. I always answer the questions. Because you're the primary. Well, you're I the primary want, colors. I want, I'm petitioning this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you a question. You have a new record coming out. What is it called? Someone else could answer that. No, I'm looking at I'm looking at you. This Wait, what one. if we all say one yeah, word? Let's okay. Do it. This is why let's I don't do here. it like this. <laughs> this is why I don't do it like, like this. This. <laughs> this is how I think the Lord is called. When does it come out? Friday. Because on Friday? Yeah. This Friday. 
April 8th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you guys excited? Super excited. Yeah. Like I'm actually thinking it's, it comes out at least in LA. It's out on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Yeah. And like I'm, I'm already making plans for Thursday night. What I gonna, what, what I want do? to do? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do Probably like a, a nice barbecue, dinner, yeah. a nice dinner, a nice dinner. <laughs> <laughs> a nice dinner. Uh, celebrate. Yeah, celebrate. How long have you guys been working on this album, Aaron? Maybe like two years. Like from writing, like conception stage of like coming up with all the songs and then developing them and completely changing some of them and then rebuilding <laughs> them from the ground up. When you guys go into the, like, what does the conception of a song look like? What is that process? And how do you guys decide which songs t- to kill, which songs to marry? Mariah. <laughs> I'm looking at other people. They're sending it back to no, you. No, I know. So we're really clear. Not, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, I guess sometimes it's like playing it live. If it works, sometimes it's like whether or not someone wants to die with it. You know, like sometimes it's just like, okay, I feel so compelled to this song. Like a song you and I wrote. Where did we write? I mean, across many different locations. But I don't think it would have really probably made it had we not been like, the song is awesome. (laughs) Yeah, I think there were actually, there were a few songs in this album that we've really never played live. We just kind of, because we wrote them in a time of isolation or whatever, we're like, all right, we're just going to trust that these songs are good and that these songs mean something to us and and just put them on the album. Yeah. Yeah, this one is unique because we didn't get to like test out all these songs and like a, what's the, what's our community going to respond to them like? Like what's that going to yeah. be like? It was just like, we really like this song. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's try and see how it goes. And after writing, like, I think I came on one of the trips late and it was like, you guys had written like 40 songs or something. And yeah. Was it the trip to Mexico? I think it was Wyoming. Yeah. Okay. Because I tried to go to Mexico and then I got, my plane got sent back. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. The storm. Okay. Hurricane. So this is your COVID record. Yeah. This is our COVID record. And normally you would play music in the room for people and kind of get a vibe for whether they're engaged or whether they're, it's easy to sing or to, to, so how did you guys decide during a COVID record, like during the COVID years? How did you decide what people were going to like or what you were going to like? Or is it just completely personal preference or? Yeah. Like what Aaron just said, like, we just kind of were like, this is what we like, so let's... <laughs> so this is how, I mean, I think this we, is how I praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> we sat down and like the Lord. listened right when I arrived and like there were like so many songs and mm-hmm. we like just for maybe, I don't know, it was an hour or two hours just listening through all these songs and some of them were like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Like this is one of the coolest yeah. things I've ever heard. And then this one is like, oh, that's really nice. Thank you so much for writing that. <laughs> but then others were, you know, so no, we, most of them were amazing. It's just which ones are most Do we have the track list anywhere? We do. It's in Apple Music. Do we have it? It's on yeah, Apple yeah, Music. Yeah. Can we pull it up? Yeah. Give me a song that was like the most fought over. Like what was the song that almost didn't make the record? How I can I like, explain? Or Love of a Lifetime too. That was a journey. They fought each other, those two songs. Because originally they were like the same, the same vibe. Okay. And then we like put, Colin put Love of a Lifetime in like a little blender musically. And then... How could I explain was still vibey and what it is. So that one won in the yeah. end. Yeah. Is there a unanimous, is there a song that is like everyone's favorite right off the bat? Other than the single. Is there a song? I love Rejoice right off the bat. Wait, how did you decide? Wait, hold on. First off, how did you decide the single? I mean, because that one was the one we all unanimously decided it, was, that was the best the song. Unanimous, yeah. Everyone just knew. Yes. But from yeah. the moment we wrote it, I think, I think everyone was yeah. like, oh, this is it. This is it. Right? Okay, so I have the track listing here on the new record. You've already released This Is How I Thank the Lord and Unexpected Roads. Robbie is not with us today. No. He's with us in he's life. He's still with he's us. Still with <laughs> us. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's, he took an unexpected road. He's yeah. just not here right now. Um, you guys have a few things in store for the release. Is there anything? Tell me, like, what's a song you guys fought for that didn't make it? Oh, well, not worthy. I was more of like a personal thing I fought for that no one else was fighting with me. Yeah, there's also one. Um, it's called Jesus, I Love You. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. And that one's a pretty polarizing <laughs> subject. It, yeah. Why is it a polarizing subject? Because you've got probably some of the worst parts of a song with some of the best parts of a song that we have in one song. And so Brooke and Colin and Carlos are obsessed with 
and have been right. That's right. Yes, because I love, it's amazing. I love the song. <laughs> the chorus is I really strong. The best. The well, the chorus that oh, way changed. That's funny because too, so. that's the part I hate. <laughs> anyway, we'll we get into it? it later. Can we hear a little bit of it? Can but we sneak peek the song? You're that's not never a big make fan. It? Well, I think I just made a mistake when we made the demo for it. <laughs> oh, Which yeah. is, this is, I did this Wait, what happened? Yeah, what this happened? I made invited. this demo. Pull this song. Like, we're like, we made a bunch no, of like, I it. played a lot of, I layered a lot of acoustic guitars. I was like, this is going to be really, really cool. Yeah. And Carlos is with me and he's like, okay. <laughs> and then we Trying go to like, to hey, yeah, go, the song. Like, go, we try and go back revive. real quick. Like every time that we do a writing camp at the end of the day or at the end of the, a couple of days, we do a show and tell. And oh. we try to like, and we try to produce as much as we can if okay. we can. Um, so a presentable, it's, it's presentable thing. for everyone to okay, so at least let, like so, it. So let's let's roll this back a bit. So it was obviously like COVID, and LA was pretty locked down. Yep. It was pretty hard to get everybody together in the same room. So you guys decided to take this on the road. Yep. Go away to the mountains, spend a week, and just write as much as you possibly could. And a bit about your process is that you do a show and tell at the end. Yep. Yes. So. And is this like, is it how, <laughs> you're just logged in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who, how does a show and tell work? Is it, I mean, it's really fun. We just, we you play one song. You guys break into, because there's a lot of you guys. How many guys do you write, take on a writing yeah. trip? 10 of us. Yeah. yeah. So do you break people into groups? Yeah. Like, like, show me, like, who are your favorite teammates? That's tough. Well, well you're just trying to you're start stuff. There's so many fires today. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't know there's a fire here. I just want to know who are your favorite teammates. Like, no, is, it, is it always like, Everyone. is it always like, Everyone's broken? Well, no, you could Everyone's use, you could different. use Andy and I as an example. Like, we were, we were like the best okay. team. They wrote Tremble. We had our, they we wrote had Tremble. Our, we had our time. So they were the, the Tremble duo. Yes. With some other people. But, so trio. But, the Tremble two. But then the tremble too. <laughs> but then we could not. Anytime you put me and Andy in a room together, there would be like it would be like kind of tense. The, like we the wouldn't. The tremble curse. <laughs> the curse of tremble. We probably didn't write a song together for like as many times as we wrote until yeah. this last retreat. Give me a ballpark number. Like how many times did you attempt at writing a song and couldn't write a song together? Like four or five times, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It was maybe like a good year, two years, yeah. maybe like between out because it was like our first album. Like you know, tremble, yeah. glory, and wonder, and then, like the all the the two EPs in between that. I don't think that there was like really a song you and I, yeah. you know, really wrote on and human, not human either. No, <laughs> and then, so so that's why like this is how I think the Lord was like. It was like a redemption. It was story. like a reconciliation. Like oh, we can <laughs> write again together. What are you doing down there? Nothing. <laughs> You're doing something. No, 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 shaking something. <laughs> okay, so no, I, want, but, I, want, I want the real dirt, Colin. So no, ooh, I'm, no. I'm using this as an example. Oh, I'm I answering want, your question. Yeah, but get to the get to the dirt. <laughs> we couldn't write right together. together. That's the dirt. We no, avoided that. The problem. Is, my, my, what my ask is is this. This is what I'm asking. Who who's the best person to write with? <laughs> <person I'm> <laughs> I mean, I I think it really it really varies. I think like for instance, me myself, uh, wait, <laughs> me, myself me, and I, I, myself, my myself and I, like we write we write we write bangers <laughs> like write like hits. like me, Brooke and Mariah. Yeah, we wrote like we've had a pretty good success rate. I would say with songs, <laughs> really, we have. But then we wrote a song called Ashes. <laughs> And we, and How we, dare you? <laughs> How Don't dare bring you? up Ash. <laughs> we played it. We played it at church probably three too many times. No, which was <laughs> one day, three services. Oh yeah. Why do we keep doing it? It was maybe two Sundays. No, we only played it. I remember the guy that we had sing it. Sweet Phil sang it and asked before the last gathering, "Can we not play the song? Yeah, <laughs> it is not. Wait, it is not wait, going well." That, that to me, this is what people want to hear because everyone sees. The trembles and no one sees the ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, no, it's, people, uh, is it not people saw the ashes. No, no, our church definitely <laughs> sees the ashes. <laughs> is this the song in South Pass that I was like, we can't ever, we can't, why do we keep no. doing this one? No, but yeah. you were also no? here because I think I was with you when they played it and you were like, you were in shock. I, I will say shock. that that, that day that we wrote that song, Brooke, we, we were at this house, like Airbnb in Echo Park. Yeah. And like minutes before that, Brooke got locked in the bathroom for like <laughs> oh half an hour. The, um, and it, was old, it was an old house and the doorknob fell off inside. <laughs> and she was stuck Shoot. in the bathroom. And we're all, I mean, we're all trying to get her out. And then we write ashes. So it was a pretty tough day. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. So it was a long time ago. A long time. How, how long is a long time ago? Uh, maybe five, 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 five years. years. Yeah. 
Ashes was five years ago? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Oh, this isn't this record. No. Has this record had... Okay, okay. So he... Uh, just let me get there. We had two years of not playing anything, so we had no failures. So I have, I have, I have a question right now. It, Brooke, if you could pick anyone to write with, who would you pick? Come on. You Brooke. only get one person. Who's with your duo? Me. No. With oh. me. Oh. Rob. She'd say Rob. Okay, so I have very... I write very different songs with every single person. I'm not, I'm not asking group. for an explanation. I'm asking, give me a name, Brooke. I can't choose anyone ever, but... My husband. No. However, we don't have a good track record are, at all. You hate, you <laughs> hate Honestly, writing songs together. What Honestly, are you talking about? I'm, I'm okay. I'm definitely the worst person to write with Brooke. We always need a buffer. We need Colin. We need Aaron. Yeah. Somebody else. I always else. have to ask their okay. permission if I put them so, in a group together. So you've written with Andy and Brooke? Oh, I have a great story about Tell writing with them. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy oh, no. already knows what it is. Talk to so me. off human, we have uh, the three of us wrote a track called You Never Fail Me. Okay. And it was like towards the end of our Wyoming retreat. Um, I think we were all just a little tired and we wrote the chorus. It was good. I, I, I wasn't really feeling it too much. Yeah. But is it the chorus that lives there now? Yes. Yeah. The, the like song, same, same yeah. chorus. It never really changed from yeah. the demo. Yeah. Um, Andy decides that during the middle of the session, me and Brooke are writing. He's just going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy, Andy, Andy does that. Yeah, Andy does. does that. Andy, <laughs> when he's off, he's off. He's off. <laughs> yeah. You Andy really values his like afternoon. <laughs> so is there is there like a is there like a board of governance between the band that like does this go like later show intelligence like hey this is a song called you never fail me and. Andy actually is getting dropped from the writing credit because he fell asleep and he wasn't actually conscious. That comes with my feet. Like, I'd see yeah. the writing. That's nap. like, there's a, there's a Andres nap. with a bunch of Z's. Z's. <laughs> Andres. Z, 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 Z. One of the good things about this, though, he woke up and then he, like, had this idea. He's like, what if we do a key change? And then well, me wait, and wait. First, he woke up and he said, did you guys write the bridge? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I was like, no, you fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you guys finish it already? <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that when when he woke up, told you about the key change, Brooke came back into the other house <laughs> uh, so mad. Yeah. Like they, like I liked the song and now like Andy's doing this key change and it was like a whole, it was like a scandal. And I said, scandal. I said, here's what's going to happen. He's going to come in and you're going to love it. You're all going to love it. And you're going to want to do it because originally I wanted to be able to lead you never fail me. But I knew if we put a key, key change in the bridge, a guy would have to lead it. And I was like, this song has been lost to me and all female worship leaders forever. Like this is the cost. And it turns out he brought it in. They brought it in, and it was our favorite song. So and who, yeah, and who now sings, everyone loves it. It's a great song. Who sings "You Never Fail Me" on the record? Carlos. Like me and Mariah. Mariah. That was yeah. the old record. The old record. That's yeah. human, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I okay. Questions about the new record. Uh, I like talking about our our the past dynamics. History. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The history. <laughs> <laughs> what it? What was the easiest song to write on this new record? Anyone hmm. can address it, I guess. What are the songs? That's here are the songs right it. here. <laughs> How could I explain? How do I thank you? Generous love to your arms. Grace. This is how I thank the Lord. Unexpected oh, roads. I guess not I, everyone will know. I, everyone has their own answer, right? I know the hardest one of the things you just said. But which one? To your arms almost killed us. The uh, bridge of that song was so hard. I feel like probably half this album almost killed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, easiest one... I feel like Rejoice is pretty easy. We all wrote that. A yeah. lot of us wrote that together. It was easy. The bridge the bridge took a little longer, but the chorus was came really really, really fast. Really fast. Yeah. I need you. Carlos, like, I feel like you knocked that out so fast. Oh yeah. So like it's interesting that I need you and I need you now are back to back. Uh -huh. And one's in parenthetical or the parentheses. Is there a meaning behind that? It is. Oh, cool. I mean, is there a meaning behind that? Yeah. I mean, everything that we, the track listing is very like intentional. intentional. Walk us through it. It's like, it starts with the questions. How do I thank you? How could I explain? And we wrote a song called, how, this is I think the Lord and how do I thank you? And we we're like, they can't be on the same album. And then we were like, wait, they have to be. And then it's cool. Cause everything else kind of just followed. And we wrote a lot of these other songs. And so it's kind of like questioning. So with, with this idea that you have the juxtaposition between like the questions and the answers, mm -hmm. do you feel this is a, an album of discovery? 
Sure. No, I'm, I'm questioning. <laughs> so are we? <laughs> Why is no, that? Yeah, important? I think. No, I think it is. I think it's it's, but not in like a way of like I'm questioning my faith. It's those. That's not really the way the songs are. It's more of like a overwhelming sort of like I f- I feel all of this gratitude. I feel. How do I explain anything? And honestly, the first two songs are both the same concept in that way. Like we don't have any words to do it. And then this, I think the Lord is like. I do it through worship. I do it through praise, you know, and um, I Need You Now is super cool because it doesn't fit anything else on the album, really. Who sings it's I Need You Now? Robbie. Okay. And it's just like an acoustic. We call it the <laughs> working title was Campfire, and we still call it Campfire. <laughs> we can't really call a song Campfire just because it sounds like a campfire. Um, and yeah, it's just like, I, I think it was a, I need you now. How could I explain? We submitted those like three days before our deadline because we submitted the whole album a week early and we've never done that in our entire lives, ever hit a deadline. <laughs> and so, <laughs> which probably people are laughing about that, but it's true. We never have. So with that week that we had extra, we were like, could we add two songs? And our amazing team at Capitol had a slight heart attack. But we were like, it's fine. If we don't if we don't turn them in, then you yeah. submit the album without the two songs. And if we do, then awesome. And we did it. Probably from like deciding to submitting was like, what, three days? Yeah. And that mixing and all of that yeah. too, you know? So we like, a lot of the vocals of a lot of these songs are like from the demo, like from those first sessions writing it and stuff. So it was like really nice to have that like emotion there. Like we tried to recreate it. We tried to re-record them to get like cleaner versions of things, but it didn't have the same like engagement, I guess. And so for those two songs specifically, it's like, that's like Rob from, I don't know, a year or two ago. Totally. So it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. This is exciting. You guys excited? Yeah. Very excited. Excited for the new record. Excited for the new release. Stoked. I'm right. I think you said like, stoked. <laughs> so stoked. Like stumped. It does. It does feel crazy that it's been two years. I think this has been the longest process for an, for an album for us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. and especially these two years, which felt like ten years <laughs> with the really pandemic. Did. I feel like there's something to say, right? That you start the beginning of the record off with thanking the Lord, and I don't know if a lot of people's posture in the last two years, especially people who had to like deal with COVID like firsthand and being in quarantine and lockdown, and we were all in Los Angeles in and around it, and we were pretty locked down for the first six to nine months, and then again in the holidays, and then, you know, it was like a year and a half of of not really knowing what's up, and why did you start the beginning of the record with a thank you? I, I feel like the, the number one, my first question would be like, hey, where you been? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, no. Hey, I'm not hi. grateful. Are you <laughs> are you here still? Yeah. It's so it's so interesting, Aaron, because like that same question was what we asked ourselves when we started writing the album. Yeah. Like we were not intentionally trying to write songs about gratitude. Because when we were writing the songs, we were not like I speak for myself, I was not in a grateful space. Right. Like I was like dealing with isolation and all the stress and not being close to our friends often. And then we do this first writing camp and then we start writing and like this one of the first songs that really we like, we felt like, oh, there's something special here. It was talking about grat- gratitude. And we just felt like it was such like a God moment and, and so beautiful to see that, hey, like maybe we don't feel this way, but it's it's awesome to see this is, these are the things that God already put inside of us. Like, you know, like I'm grateful that I have a relationship with God in the middle of all the darkness and in the middle of everything that's happening. And then when I have to sing about it, these are the things that they come out. Like I gonna declare, even that I don't feel super grateful, that I'm grateful that I have him at the end of, of everything. And like you see that theme in in so many of the songs, like so that, good. like you know, being feeling that you're in the wrong place, but you're still connected to a source. You're still connected to God, God in the middle of everything. Yeah, I love that. I think too, like the it's very personal. Yeah, it's less of like a corporate perspective. I think it's like. I don't think I had any sort of grasp on what everyone was feeling. You know, like, obviously, I knew everyone was, like, bummed out that we couldn't, like, hang out or anything. But I don't think you realize how depressing it was in the moment. Like, I don't think until I got to our first writing trip that I realized, like, oh, this is, like, a lot darker than I anticipated. Yeah, Yeah, like, I didn't realize, like, just leaving 
home and just leaving like L.A., how much of a process it would be to sort of like get that out of my system. I have, and, a, I have a question. Is yeah. there a Juno song? A song yeah. about your daughter? <laughs> how do I thank you? How do I thank you? Yeah. And can you walk us behind the, the BTS of the song, like the reasons why you wrote it or why it's for Juno? Well, no one knew I was pregnant. Colin didn't know I was pregnant. We were I had no song. idea. We were literally, <laughs> uh, it was a session where it was just me and Mariah. Okay. Um, and we were in Orange County, and then downstairs, you guys were writing a very upbeat song. <laughs> I remember because I, I can just remember hearing boom, boom, like the, the just kick four on the kind floor of going. going. Okay. And then, and then I we. I think it was "I Need You." Yeah, I, I think it might have been. And then we were just going for like a different vibe. And then one of the guys, one of our guys, Otto, who's from Mexico City, okay, uh, left their writing session. And was he like, didn't like it. He didn't like it. <laughs> he started it. He started it. He started and then it. He left. <laughs> he was like, I'm just not feeling it downstairs. Yeah. So he came up, played a little guitar riff, and then me and Mariah were like, oh, that's really cool. So we just recorded it real quick. He left. He was there for maybe three five minutes. Yeah. And then, and then can you FaceTime him. Back. Yes. Let's see if we can get him on. No, keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going. So we started, you just came up with how do I thank you? Da, da, na, 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 and you didn't have all the lyrics right yeah. there. And we just kept going. And that riff kind of really, like, we kind of birthed the song around that. But then it was really cool because I think we didn't, we maybe only worked on it for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And then the session ended. And then we revisited the song um, in Wyoming <laughs> We're and, and finished it. That's And you still didn't know she was pregnant? I no. no, I didn't. Had no idea. She did such a no. good job hiding it from everyone. You didn't so, know in like, Wyoming. It was Carl? crazy. Well, only it was still really early. Only you, Carlos, and Andy knew because I was so sick. And I couldn't I, hide it from. So him. we were. I was on that trip, <laughs> and I was sitting in a different house with some of our creatives. <laughs> and right. I told them, you I'm told like, well, normally right. I'm like, normally my no, advice. Brian didn't know then. Did we get him? He did. Did we get? Him? Uh, I'm calling. Uh, so yeah. normally my advice is to the creative team is like, Mariah will will look at you with death eyes. <laughs> If you keep following her, but I need you to follow her because we need to create behind the scenes documentation. We need like all the BTS. And that trip, I was like, look, follow everyone except for Mariah. Because <laughs> you had told me like, hey, I can't have them. Like I'm going to be running to throw up probably and I need breaks. So just don't have, you know, Brian follow me. And I'm like, so I had to tell him, you can't ask questions and you can't know why, but you cannot follow her. If she walks <laughs> away, just leave her be. And he's like, okay. He's so confused. And then later on, when you announced it, he was like, is that why? Is that, I knew she was pregnant. What? I sort of just assumed everyone knew at that point. Okay. 37 minutes. We got some time. We got a little bit of time. Okay. So last, <laughs> last. just got comfortable. It, Oto, see if you can call it and see if you pick up. No, I don't want. Come on. Dang. You don't love us. Dang. Dang. Um, okay. So you didn't go behind the scenes of why that's to Juno though. Well, yeah. You keep asking questions every time I start <laughs> No, no. Colin, talk to us about behind the scenes. I want to know why the song is No, yeah. I, I, it was more just like I wanted to write a song of of gratitude that I could like look back and be like this is very personal since no one knew that was like way early on no one would have known um but just to like have that moment of like I mean I didn't I don't necessarily know that I was like oh I'm pregnant I have this life growing inside of me which I think is awesome when people are but that wasn't me but what was your take on pregnancy then get this life out of me <laughs> um but no it was it was just trying to to like not necessarily even lyrically but just have a moment where i could like take all of these things that i felt like we were going through or like we had gone through even just as friends or with people after covid and also like this really special thing that was happening to me and try to like freeze that moment in time so it was less of like this is for her and more of like i want to i want to make this moment like i want to remember this moment and i think there's the one line in that song it says how do i thank you for all the hurt and all the pain i got through and like across there's probably like two lines in the whole album that like i feel like i was able to really communicate what i felt and that was one of the times that i that I felt like I was just able to say something that like I just needed to say, you know, and I don't know if it's that I got through or that I'm getting through all of the pain and all of the hurt, but that was just a, a moment that I was like, I want to remember this moment forever. And so that was more of just like the perspective I had when we were writing. It was like, how do I, all of the good and all of the bad, how do I make it like stand still 
so that 20 years down the road I can look back and listen to that song and know that these were all the things that we were going through and I wanted to like that I wanted that to be my prayer to God 20 years from now because there are good things and there are bad things Hmm. you know and so it's not as much like Juno listen to the song I wrote every word about you it was like this is the moment in time that I wanted to freeze yeah so I have a question for you Aaron Weeds yeah what's your favorite song on the record that one (laughs) (laughs) no I'm not I'm not kidding that one it's like I that uh that time when I heard all the demos for the first time it was like that one just stuck out to me you know I didn't even know that story before you know uh or anything but that how do I thank you is like my favorite and then sometime in the iterations of all the track listings and all that stuff like where I was like we should do that one first I was like yes because I love it so much that's special any funny stories you want to add Colin anything you got about that song or oh, just about anything no no you can't make fun of Juno so like anything what was what was the low what, what was the low light of the record do you, like, do you ever have do you ever have moments where you're writing records where you feel like there's no way you're gonna finish this thing there's no way it's gonna happen and all songs are garbage <laughs> for like a year yeah, and a, a half times. in between yeah a couple like six times maybe. <laughs> <laughs> six times, six times. Like, so how are we gonna do this? this? And yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a lot. There was a lot. I would say it was a slow burn, so it was hard to see the end of like any sort of like. And also, we produced it for our, ourselves. Yeah. So we did everything ourselves, and we had no idea if we, it was gonna be good. So this is the first self-produced album. We did unknown like more internally, but this was like the most like extensive like situation that's incredible and then i think jake goss played drums on this record yeah your husband Woo! that's kind of a big deal it's kind of yeah awesome. so i got good. the hook up you got the hook up <laughs> okay any other things any other comments anybody anything anybody else wants to get off the chest i'm so excited for this record yeah i feel like this is gonna be such a surprise and a gift because people really haven't heard these songs yeah like, so many of them we've never played live and I, there were so many times I was having conversations with people over the past two years where they would share a story with me and I would think, wow, we wrote the perfect song for you. Mm. Like, yeah, I can't true. wait for you to hear this. Yeah. 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 I, have, I have a couple more questions before we wrap this thing up. Maverick City won a Grammy. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. That's, that's so kind cool. of a, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it yeah it's awesome. We it like, is. we love them. Love, love them. them. And they got to, I think it was like, I read something that was like the first Christian gospel artists to like play during the television. Like the tele- like yeah, they usually they don't air they get, Yeah, they don't air. It was like 20 years or something, which is, I mean, massive. Okay, so I I heard a rumor, Colin, that you actually have perfect pitch. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Maybe yes, yes. or maybe no. I do, but I don't like talking about it. But yes, I do. It's like your secret superpower. No, and curse. it's not, it's not when, secret. We talk about it all the time. If any of us <laughs> just starts singing a song, he will chime in with the, the correct. Right, correct. That's yes. a good way to, hey, that's a good way to test it. Yeah, sing a Brooke, song. sing a song. No, hey, it's yeah, always, yes, always, yes, always Brooke, me. Brooke, sing a song. <laughs> always me. Sing a song. No. <laughs> sing, <laughs> sing to your, shut, I have Colin speak, do it, Colin. Do it. Do to your it. arms, do to it. your arms. Sing to your arms. But he knows he knows the key of that song. Well, yeah, I know the key of all of them. No, no, a different one, a different one, a different one, a different one. A, di- a song that he didn't write or was a part of writing. What song did you say you had stuck in your head earlier? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can sing that on the box. Sing, 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 okay, I'm gonna, I'm pulling up a song. Okay, how, how about this one? How about this one? No. <laughs> what is that? A, a, test it, yep, test it. Yep. Aaron Weeds is A. That's Aaron an A. Weiss, that's, it's an A? Yep. Okay, one more, one more, <laughs> one more. What song is that? A. It's as It Was by Harry Styles. Wait, he should t- show you what he does to all of us all the time, though. Let Brooke sing to your arms and he'll cry. <laughs> is it, okay, <laughs> this is I'll a, preface this. I don't mean to do this. It no, literally it's not is malicious. like. Yeah, it's just yeah. in his bones. Yeah. But essentially, what, <laughs> I'll start singing any song in a key that's most comfortable for my voice. Okay, I can. Uh, I'll do it. I'll sing This Out in the Lord in whatever key I want to sing it. This is how I thank the Lord for saving me. (laughs) 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 What is happening? That's the correct key. He's singing it in the correct correct key. key. (laughs) It doesn't matter what key they're in. I'm going to chime in and I'm going to sing 
the, the right, right key. key. And it should be <laughs> all of us. And then I don't mean to it. do that. <laughs> it comes across super so rude. So you'll be like mid, they'll be like practicing in the back and then you'll come in just singing the right key. Yes. No, it's more, it's not, you, it's more just like if we're like, oh, let's add this to the set list because he could go into this song like, this is so, and it'll be like, oh yeah. And then he'll just sing it over you. But he's like, he doesn't mean to. He's like agreeing with you. Yes. But he's just, his tune is the right key. He's helping you. Yes. Helping. He's helping you. It's yes. not rude, Colin, because now we love it about you. Has it ever started we any do fights? We love it. Uh, I mean, not, only not, with Brooke. Yeah, not fights that I know about. I'm sure, like, in other spaces, people probably, if I've done that, which no. I probably have, they're probably like, wow, this guy's a jerk. Like, Who did you no. say that thing to? Are you even a musician? Who did you Are say even, oh, yeah, oh, no, Austin. God. Where's Austin? <laughs> there he is. Uh, One time. Uh, Austin, I you forget what the story was. We were in what? New York, and we were like, Playing something and he was said something and you looked over and you're like, are you even a musician? We were doing this. We're doing what we're doing right now, just testing like like perfect pitch stuff and then and we all lost it. Yeah. And he was like, oh my gosh, I didn't because you're the sweetest person ever. It's like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to. You get kind of chippy sometimes. I do daggers. Yeah. daggers. They're like they're like sweet little daggers. So who's the troublemaker of the crew? Carlos. 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 And if Otto I was going to say Otto. Otto. I was going to say if Otto. Otto. Was here, Otto? <laughs> yes. And then who's like who? Well, we know who like the mom of the group is. Honestly, Brooke's probably more the mom. Yeah, than yeah. Brooke, Brooke is more. How do you mom them, Brooke? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn the music down. Yeah, turn the music down. Who, too loud. Who has the most fun? Mariah. I feel like Andy has a lot. Andy of fun. Andy has a lot. Andy does have a lot of fun. Andy has a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I feel like we all have fun together, though. Oh, we do yes. have a lot of fun. You can have fun We're all at 100% fun. Yeah. Also, Rob has a lot of yeah. fun. Oh, yes. Yeah, but the most emotional award goes to Rob. Sweet Rob. Goes to Rob. I do, I do think that maybe you guys should come back. I wanted to do it on this podcast, but I don't think we have time. So can we do like another interview where we play the game Spoons? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Cause I've so like the last trip I went on with you guys, I've I was like almost injured playing <laughs> playing a game with yeah. like these giant metal spoons, and there were more of us than there have ever been. There the, was like fifteen of yeah, us. Yeah, like, we had brought night. some creators, brought friends yeah. out, yeah. and then there everyone was hanging out in this big living room, and it was the most dangerous game I've ever played in my life. I broke a nail. I did too. <laughs> people were people were pushing each other, jumping over each other. People were screaming. We also yeah. played baseball in the living room. That we did. Plays right. baseball oh, in the yeah. living room. That was one of the weirdest things I think. I have a I have a twenty one minute video on my phone of me, Andy, Brooke, Carlos, and Amy playing spoon or playing baseball because everyone went to bed early that yeah. night. Literally, everyone what? was like, "We're going to bed," and we we're like. We're playing baseball. So Andy has ginormous feet. So we took his sandal. <laughs> and, right. and, and we had a, his his Adidas slide, a ping pong ball. Yep. And, Set up bases around the room. And we played it in the entire game on my video. We're fighting about, fighting the, about rules the rules that don't exist. We all ended up fighting. <laughs> so... Okay, so we should play Spoons live. Let's do it. As a record release incentive for everybody who... That would be so fun, wouldn't yeah, it? Yep. That would be Down. very fun. That would be very fun. Okay, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me on this podcast. I'm so grateful. If you want people to do one thing with this album, what would it be? Listen to it. Listen to it? Blast it. <laughs> Listen to it and post it. They're listening to it? Post yeah. about it, yes. Post about it. Yeah. Send it to your friends. friends. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, let us know. Let us know what your favorite song is. Let us know, like, why is it your favorite song, you know? We and play it, yeah. play it at your church. Play it at your church. Play it at your church, yes. Can I tell you a funny story before we sign off? Sure. So I was I was watching the Oscars with one of my friends, which a couple of my friends, and they were they my friend Annabelle and James, they were like, Hey, look, like we they they just moved into this house and they're like, I think the house might be haunted. <laughs> and I walk into like obviously like a different situation that's happening, and they were like stressing <laughs> out and they were like they were like, Go in, go into the bathroom and the bathroom has a shower and the shower, like, there's water all over the walls. As if like the shower was on, but they're like no one showered in the shower for like five days. Like this is the downstairs that guest bathroom. Like, okay. So what I do whenever anything like that happens, I start putting tremble on. <laughs> that's like that's like my Ghostbusters. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like my Harry Potter magic thing. I just start putting tremble on and start playing it. So immediately, like without clockwork, I just whip it out, whip out my phones, boom, clip the thing, boom. Obviously, it's like Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. They're very confused because they don't necessarily believe in God, but they're like, I don't understand what you're doing. I'm just like waving it around in there. And I'm like, Does I think that we're work good. for you normally. It, it, usually it keeps me safe. I said, it doesn't matter where I am. If things start getting hairy, I throw tremble, but now I, I throw, this is how I thank the Lord. And 
so then the next the next day they were like hey um i think i'm hearing something in that bathroom again on the group text so i just sent the link to this is how i praise the lord <laughs> and they responded like really sweetly like hey i'm not sure that i'll ever be like a worship girl and i was like no this is for the bathroom protection <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. that is a multi-use for this worship song. Um, if you have ghosts in your house. Play This Is How I Thank the Lord. And, the and maybe ghost, they'll like it. And the ghosts will leave. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. ghosts will like it. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys for being on the podcast with me. You guys are amazing. And I can't wait to have you guys on this soon. And hopefully we get Oto and Rob and the rest of the crew on here as well. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks thank you. for having thank us. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you were if listening... <laughs> You're listening. Thank you to everybody who's a part of this podcast. Go check out their new record, Mosaic MSC, on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, YouTube. Where else will it live? Pandora. Tidal. Pa- I don't know. Tidal. Tidal, Tidal. Pandora. Literally Amazon. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. You can listen to this music anywhere. Go get it today. Stream it. Check it out. First song's about my baby niece. How can you lose with that? We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>